Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at these angles right here. We're asked to find another angle, or perhaps more than one other angle, that has the same measure as angle 1. These little symbols over here indicate that these two lines are parallel to one another, and this is the transversal. So let's go through each one of the other angles and see if they could have the same measure as angle 1. First of all, angle 1 and angle 2, they are supplementary. That means that the total measures add up to 180 degrees, and they can only be equal if angle 1 is 90 degrees, then angle 2 must also be 90 degrees. But by the picture here, we can see that angle 1 has a measure of less than 90 degrees, so they cannot be the same. Angle 1 and angle 3 are also supplementary. In other words, just like with angle 1 and angle 2, their measures add up to 180 degrees. And again, you can see that angle 1 must be less than 90, Therefore, angle 3 must be more than 90 degrees, and they cannot have the same measure. How about angle 1 and angle 5? Notice that these are corresponding angles, and the rule says that if they're corresponding angles, their measures must be the same. So therefore, angle 5 has the same measure as angle 1. Now, looking at angle 6, since angle 6 is supplementary to angle 5, and they cannot therefore have the same measure unless they're 90 degrees. And you can see that angle 5 has a measure less than 90 degrees. Therefore, angle 6 must, be, must have a measure greater than 90 degrees. So therefore, the measure of angle 6 cannot be equal to the measure of angle 1. And so there's only one possible answer. The measure of angle 5 equals the measure of angle 1. And that is how it's done.